Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is a 2001 Chevrolet Corvette, and today I'll show you how to replace the front sway bar end links. End links are what connects the sway bar to the control arms, which helps keep your car from leaning side to side while cornering. They should be replaced when they're damaged, worn out, or making noise, but today we're just swapping them out for newer end links to get this car ready for racing autocross. That's all I have to say about that, so let's get to it. Here are the tools that I used for this job. Impact wrench, torque wrench, socket wrench, a couple socket extensions, 19 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter ratcheting wrench, eight millimeter wrench, and I didn't have a T40 Torx bit socket, so I made my own using a quarter inch socket, T40 Torx bit, and some tape. For this job, I also needed a floor jack, two jack stands, two blocks of wood, gloves, a creeper, a stool, a light, and a set of sway bar end links. There are links in the description for everything I used. I'll start by putting the front of the car on jack stands. Even with my low profile jack, I had to drive the front tires onto wood blocks to get enough clearance. If you're not using an impact wrench, you'll want to break loose the lug nuts first. The car can be safely lifted and supported at these points. The end links are secured with 18mm nuts, but you'll also need a T40 Torx to keep the joints from spinning. If they're rusty, you might also want to spray some lubricant onto the threads. I used a socket wrench with an extension to break loose the inside nut. Here's another shot of the area you'll be working in. I thought the factory end links looked a little bent, but looking at them closer off the car, I think they're just made that way. The new end links don't have a top, bottom, left, or right side, so you can't really install them the wrong way, and they didn't come with new nuts, but we can reuse the old ones. These new end links are designed differently, so I used an 18mm wrench to hold the joints, while I used a socket wrench to reinstall the 18mm nuts. On the outer nut, I used an 18mm ratcheting wrench with an 8mm wrench to hold the joint, but I still needed to hold the joints with an 18mm wrench while I torqued the nuts. The nuts on both end links should be torqued to 53 foot-pounds. The lug nuts on this car should be torqued to 100 foot-pounds. Mm -hmm. 
I have a lot more videos about working on this Corvette, so check those out before you go. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more of the best DIY videos on the internet. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it.